Before we begin this video, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tails hoodies are now available. Five each color, small through double XL. Red, black, purple, blue, and orange. Only $25 free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. First name, last name, mailing address, shirt size, the color. The cash app and PayPal are how you can reach me. Shirts are also available still. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be different. It will be about the Menendez brothers and their experience when they stepped into the world of the Mexican Mafia. Joseph Lyle Menendez, born January 10th, 1968, and Eric Menendez, born November 27, 1970, are brothers who became infamously recognized for a brutal crime. The Menendez brothers had parents by the name of Jose Enrique Menendez and Mary Louise Kitty Anderson. On the evening of August 20th, 1989, Jose and his wife were standing in the den of their Beverly Hills mansion when Lyle and Eric entered the den carrying shotguns. Jose was shot six times, including the fatal shot in the back of the head with the Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun. Kitty was shot 10 times in total before the fatal shot to her cheek. She was on the ground, slowly crawling and moaning. Lyle then ran to his car to reload and then fired the fatal shot to her face. After having an advantage due to poor police response in the initial investigation, the brothers flaunted luxurious items and police suspected the motive was financial motive in their exorbitant spendings after the killings. Eric had confessed unknowingly to the crime with someone working for the police wearing a secret recording device and captured what police needed to make an arrest. Both brothers were eventually convicted of two counts of murder and related charges. They were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Here is where they meet La M.A. Members of the Mexican Mafia were in the prison tiers they were on. Among them, Rene Boxer Enriquez. Enriquez saw both brothers move through the prisons he was incarcerated in. Eric Menendez would take Enriquez and other Mexican Mafia members' orders to buy candy from the jail store. One time, Eric could not deliver. Instantly, death flashed before his eyes and chills ran up his spine. He immediately contacted his lawyer to reach out to Daniel Cuate Grajeda, one of the shot callers, to intervene. The Mexican Mafia had done something next quite surprising, but not surprised at the same time. To a carnal, a made member of the Mexican Mafia, just having a conversation meant Lyle must have been hiding drugs or a weapon, something serious. Lyle had been strong-armed. Lyle was forced to hand over a wig. They said, give us the wig. Lyle had been threatened and intimidated by the Mexican Mafia. Lyle had no choice but to hand his toupee over to whoever was pressing him. In April 2018, Lyle and Eric were reunited for the first time since they began serving their sentences. They burst into tears after seeing each other during the first meeting in a San Diego prison housing unit.